decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range and you're getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a D-bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have pause to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Riverside, California, USA, El Toro. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 30 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Damian Maia! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? All right, ready to go here for round one. This is a devastating knockout force of the highest order. Look at the highlight reel, starting to compete with some of the best we've ever seen in the UFC. The majority of his recent wins have come by knocking, and that's why he's on the cusp of contention. Tonight, in his highest profile spot to date, he'll try to register another KO and get on the mic and call out his shot. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Beautiful kick. with that left hook. Grab the back of the head, pull it forward on the head, and then land those beautiful punches. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he will try to chase down that finish. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Maya. Able to land there with the straight left. Yeah. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's able to find that follow up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Liver kick. Oh, straight right. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. When you're in the pitch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, nice. Wow. Maya gets absolutely. 
absolutely pelted by that head kick. And now he's secured back position. Maya's got his back. somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight... First buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout... Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an...